Oh, oh, another one. Yeah, Dad. You. Yeah. Up, stay right here. Nice stick. Yes, sir. That's your first white sea bass. First white sea bass. You. Heck yeah. As you see now, we have the head off. You do not have to take the head off the carcass. I do it just because it makes it that much easier, but you don't have to take the head off the carcass. But what you will need to do is clear out everything inside. So you gotta get rid of all the gills in order to clear out the room for it because what we're gonna try to get right into this little cavity right here. But it's a little bit easier once you have the head off, so that's what we went ahead and did. Since we had the carcass all filleted up and out of the way, why not rip the head off and make it that much easier? So what you're gonna need for this is a pair of dikes and either some kind of a poking tool, whether it's a skewer, a screwdriver, or a fillet knife. I'm gonna go ahead and use a fillet knife since it's already out. And what you're gonna do is take your dikes and we're gonna get right on inside here. So if you look in here, there's this nice little cavity right here. That's what we're gonna try to break into. If you get all the way far back right here, you can see a little dimple on either side and that's where you're gonna put your dikes to cut in. So you're gonna take your dikes, get on those little dimples right there, Apply some pressure and snap. And now what you're gonna do is take your, your dikes and lift it up, pry it open, and expose that. And now what you see right here is a little cavity of almost like clear gel. And that's what we're gonna try to get into. So we're gonna pry this open a little bit more so that it's a little bit easier to get in there. There's a better look at it. You got this little clear gel pack in here, this little gel gelatin cavity that's clear. And if you look back there enough, you can see the two white stones. And now you're gonna take, like I said, a little pokey thingy, screwdriver, fillet knife, whatever. You're gonna just scrape them out. There's one stone. Yeah. And there's the next. So that is how you extract the stones from a white sea bass. Fun fact, actually, if you didn't know this, all fish actually have these stones. These are just calcium deposits that they store in their head. All fish have them, but it, specifically the croaker families are where they get that big. If you were to get a bluefin tuna, big one even, they're still not gonna be nearly as big as this. If you wanted to see a size comparison, it's about the length of my thumb knuckle. But specifically, fish in the croaker family get especially bigger calcium deposits. We know them as sea bass stones. I think their real name is Ophelids. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure, <laughs> but we know them as sea bass stones. And it's a cool little treasure, uh, good memento. To do whatever you want with them. You can make one of a kind of earrings, necklace, whatever you want to do. It's a cool little memento, cool little treasure to uh, look back on your sea bass for future to go. And on that note, we're going to cheers on out of here. Congratulations on your first sea bass. Hey, thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Perfect.